we want to multiply the given polynomials. Looking at the first example, notice how we have a trinomial times a binomial. To multiply two polynomials, we distribute each term in the first polynomial into the second polynomial. However, I also want to mention, we could use the commutative property multiplication and change the order of these factors, which I've shown here in the second example. So we'll find both products to verify that we do get the same result. For the first example though, we begin by distributing the 2x squared into the binomial, which gives us two products. And then we distribute the 6x into the binomial, which gives us two more products. And then we finally distribute the negative seven into the binomial, which gives us two more products for a total of six products. Notice how this is a little messy. Let's just take one distribution at a time. So let's first distribute the 2x squared. Distributing 2x squared, we have 2x squared times 3x, which is 6x cubed. And then we have 2x squared times negative two, which is negative 4x squared, giving us minus 4x squared. And now we distribute the 6x. 6x times 3x is 18x squared, giving us plus 18x squared. And then we have 6x times negative two, which is negative 12x, giving us minus 12x. And then we finally distribute the negative seven. Negative seven times three x is negative 21x, giving us minus 21x. And then we have negative seven times negative two, which is positive 14, giving us plus 14. And now we combine like terms. Notice how we have two x squared terms, and we also have two x terms. Simplifying, we have six x cubed, and then negative four x squared plus 18 x squared is positive 14 x squared, giving us plus 14 x squared. And then we have negative 12 x minus 21 x, which is negative 33 x, giving us minus 33 x. And then we still have plus 14. And now let's verify we get the same result when we change the order of the multiplication or apply the commutative property. To find the second product, we distribute the two terms of the binomial into the trinomial. So we first distribute three x, which gives us three products. And then we distribute negative two, which gives us three more products for again, a total of six products. So multiplying three x times two x squared is six x cubed. And then we have three x times 6x, which is positive 18x squared, giving us plus 18x squared. And then we have 3x times negative seven, which is negative 21x, giving us minus 21x. And now we distribute the negative two. Negative two times 2x squared is negative 4x squared, giving us minus 4x squared. Next, we have negative two times 6x, which is negative 12x, giving us minus 12x. And finally, we have negative two times negative seven, which is positive 14, giving us plus 14. Combining like terms, again, we have two x squared terms, and we have two x terms. Simplifying, we have six x cubed, and then 18 x squared minus four x squared is positive 14 x squared, giving us plus 14 x squared. And at negative 21 x minus 12 x is negative 33 x, giving us minus 33 x, and then we still have plus 14. And notice how the result is the same. And again, this is because of the commutative property multiplication, meaning when we change the order of multiplication, it does not change the product. I hope you found this helpful.